Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 16. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and subscribing and being cool people. Uh, in today's Tip of the Day, I'm very briefly going to go over two of the most commonly used procedural presets in Source Filmmaker, that being the default and the zero presets. Now, I'm going to probably do some tips about a lot of the other presets at some point in the future, but for today, I want to focus on these two because they're both very similar. You will find scenarios where you have to use one or the other, sometimes interchanging them depending on which, which model you happen to be working with. And so I think a little understanding of what you're actually doing when you grab that slider and, and slide it around, it, what it's actually doing is worthwhile because it can give you some greater insight into how the Source Filmmaker works. Uh, in short, any of the presets up here, up in the procedural panel, any of them, uh, effectively what they do is they apply a preset value to all of the attributes for a selected object. And those attributes being uh, the things like the position, the rotation, uh, the uh, you know the location of the weapon bones uh, depends on what you're actually what model you're looking at. But all of these values describe how the model will be rendered in space. Um, so changing changing one of the values might make the model move to a different location in your in your uh, scene, for example. So. The, uh, the two presets, default and zero, they have very similar effects. Uh, first, I'm going to select the pyro here. Now, I set this up a little bit earlier uh, before I started recording this so as to give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, if I grab, I, I, I put the pyro into his, his default holding his uh, flamethrower pose. But if I grab the default preset, note what happens. And if I slide it over, well, the pyro is now lying on the floor and he is in his ragdoll pose. He is essentially in the same pose he was uh, when I first spawned him. And that is because I basically just set all of his values back to their defaults. Uh, in this case, the default has him oriented towards the floor, but you get the idea. If I hit escape, he'll go back to this. Now, that differs a little bit from the zero preset. Now, the default preset caused all of his values to go, to that, go back to their defaults, which puts him in his ragdoll pose and orients him on a specific plane. In this, in this case, it has him oriented horizontally at the bottom of the map. Okay, that's, that's easy enough to understand. But now if I grab the zero preset, watch what happens. I'm melting. Oh, no. You and your little dog, too. See? By hitting the zero, we actually just set everything, all of his position, all of his rotation, and all of his other values that describe the pyro's objects, I mean, all of his bones basically, are now zero, which means that they're all locked to the center of the map, which is the center of this orange dot, uh, and at the bottom of the map, which is the bottom of the orange dot. So we basically just said all of the pyro's values are now zero, which squashed him into a little tiny uh, you know, ball of, of uh, pyro goo. And uh, so that's the difference is that the default doesn't, you know, it sets him to his normal default state, his ragdoll pose, and zero causes all the values to be set back to zero. Now, for some models, these, these values can have different effects. Watch what happens if I hit the dispenser and select default. Well, it puts it in its normal pose, over here at uh, um, its, its standard ragdoll pose. This is the, if you spawn a dispenser, it will come out looking like this, although it will be vertical. The Source Filmmaker at least uh, does that for you. Uh, but it by uh, hitting default, it makes it lie flat here, just like the pyro. If I hit escape and if I grab zero, it is almost identical in effect. All the, all the dispenser's parts have their coordinates set to zero and they're placed in the center of the map. But if I do this with the flamethrower, if I hit default, Okay, well, the default appears to put the flamethrower anchored with the weapon bone at zero, uh, and but doesn't really seem to affect much else about it. And why is that? And if I do the same thing by hitting zero, okay, it does the same thing. And the reason is because for the... Uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the, for this, the the transform at the root is the one that is going to be used to manipulate it in space. So by hitting zero, all I'm really doing is saying put the uh, put the root transform at the zero point, which causes it to be basically stuck in the ground here. Let me move the pyro out of the way so we can see what this is doing. So it's it's basically just sticking it straight in the ground. I can grab it again, and I can I can move it, and. Uh, uh, 
orient it again if I want. I can move it up and around. And so it's it, it didn't affect the model at all, unlike using the zero preset on some of these others, uh, which causes the model to collapse into a little tiny uh, ball of, ball of uh, uh, entities. This one didn't do it. Uh, and I could even go so far as to find the Pyro's weapon bone, lock it to this weapon bone, and say zero. And if I go over and look, the Pyro is now happily holding his flamethrower. Uh, if I say default, as you can see, actually, I guess there was a change to the model, um, which is probably because when I did it before, it, it uh, pulled that... Uh, this particular hose up. So as you can see, different models will have different impacts associated with them for uh, using the default and the zero presets on them. And you can even go so far, if I go like this and I hit the pyro's body and I say zero, it does interesting things because we're only affecting one object. If I grab his knee and hit zero, it'll pull his knee over there but leave the rest of him alone. Uh, and so you know you get the uh, you get the idea is that the 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 and if I hit the default, it has a different effect. It puts it puts his knee into a into a, you know and sticks it out a little bit. So you get the idea. It's something that's going to require some experimentation because again every model has different values it has different values associated with their defaults and the setting it to zero. Some some attributes will have different effects if they're set to zero versus others. So this is something to experiment with a little bit. Um, but ooh, that was a good one. Uh, I, I encourage, as always, I encourage experimentation. But um, having a good understanding of what some of these presets can do is uh, essential to using Source Filmmaker effectively. Uh, so again, the default preset sets all the values of the selected objects in the animation set editor uh, and in the time. It'll only do it for any time that is selected. Uh, and in within that time, selected time, if you grab default, it will set all of those values that are selected back to their defaults. If you grab zero, it will set them to zero. Sometimes the default is zero, sometimes it's not. So you will see different effects depending on what objects, models, and what their defaults are. So uh, I hope this was useful and that it was informative and that you get some good use out of it in the future when you're doing your own videos and your own posters. I am Jimmer Linz. This has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day, and I will see you again on Monday. Uh, thank you again as always, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a great day, and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.